Hey, your buddy Chris here coming at you. I'm in the middle of a project getting ready to have to sand a lot of contoured molding, uh, some o double OG on both sides of a, of a cap piece that I'm making. And I thought this is a perfect opportunity for me to tell you how I sand, because uh, I've been doing it a long time. I've been, been woodworking since the late 80s. And man, I've tried easy ways and hard ways and fast ways and getting out of it all together. And so inevitably, if you're a woodworker, you gotta sand. So I thought I'd share with you my methods for uh, how I sand these contour parts because I've got a lot of it to do. So hold tight and I invite you in to watch and see how I do it and maybe you do it a little better. If you do, let me know. But hold tight, let me show you how I handle things. Okay, so forever, contour sanding mostly has been done using little sheets. Um, you can cut them and tear them and fold them and get them right into these contours very easily. Um, it works, very labor intensive, but it does work. Uh, a little more modern method is using these little flap sanders. Uh, it's just a cloth material that's very flexible. Um, and as you sand, these get right into those little contours. Uh, they do pretty well, but the problem is you, you can't really feel what you're doing. And, and part of sanding molding and any kind of contours is you want to feel what you're doing so you don't remove too much. Um, so these are good, but don't give you quite the feel that you need. Well, the method that I like especially on linear pieces like this and doors, um, is this uh, foam. This Eka Silk Plus is fantastic. Um, I picked this up from Unita. They've got it in a 5 millimeter, a half inch, and, then, and even a 10 millimeter. The 5 and the 10 millimeter are a much denser foam. Uh, but for this application, I'm going to go with the half inch. It's a very soft foam. Uh, it's got a super flexible abrasive uh, mounted to the foam, so it's like all one unit. Um, but if you'll notice, what makes this so good is this gets right into those curves. So whether I'm just trying to send that one round edge or I could actually come across the edge like that and get the whole piece at one time. So that's kind of my goal is to, to be able to take this and run it across this molding just like that to be able to go right down the length of it and then I can come right on top and even get it like that as well. Because uh, I'm not looking for super crisp, sharp edges, so this actually will work out great. Um, if you are, this still does a good job. You can go with a little finer grit. They've got it in, uh, you know, five different grit ranges, uh, ranging from, say, 60 or 80 up to 500. So it does really well, and uh, just pay attention, and maybe we'll see, I'll show you how I use it, and hopefully uh, you'll see that you like it, too. Um, good product. So what I'm going to do is make my life a little easier. I'm going to go ahead and put this on this uh, piece of three-quarter strip. It'll uh, make, make my life a little easier to be able to rock that and tip that without worrying about my having to be sanding my top all up. So anyway, so if you'll notice, I can come right here like this, kind of get it about where I want it to be. And then come right back down the other side the same way then come right across the top with just a real quick pass and do that along the whole length of the piece and it creates a nice smooth finish top and bottom um, and if I need to come back and get the side a little bit I can do that and I think I'm gonna wait and mainly get this top and in, in most of the side then I'll uh, remove this little piece of three-quarter and I can get the, the rounded part on the bottom as well so I'll finish this piece out and uh, we'll get started
I did the 56 or 8 linear feet of this uh, double OG molding uh, with the one pad. Uh, it's still got a good bit of life on it. I did catch it uh, being a little aggressive uh, on the back side, so it did tear a little bit right there. Uh, but other than that, I did the full 58 linear feet of this molding, uh, double sided. Um, this thing did fantastic. Okay, so I sanded all of that contour molding. Um, I had to stop the camera so I could see what, what time it was on my phone. Um, I did that all in about 22 minutes. Um, you know, my hands still feel good. If I'd had to do all that by hand um, with just a sheet, it would have taken a lot longer and uh, certainly would have been numb in the fingers. Um, but in case you're curious, I am using the little three by four echo sand with that. Um, this does have a hook and loop on the back, so it would amount to just about any three by four size sander. Um, but this little echo sand did good. Uh, got a nice little tight orbit to it and uh, sanded all that real well. So I'm gonna finish up with the bases and then go back to my regular sander for sanding the uh, three quarter pieces. And um, you'll see the uh, outcome of all the video uh, on a separate video. Uh, so when I get through with this little candle base project, um, you'll be able to see it as well. Uh, but in the meantime, there's uh, contour sanding, um, my method. This is Chris, Chris Cross Crafts, out.